We're on the beach in Fuengarola in Spain and I'm going to paint this typical beach restaurant here and the espateros, I think I pronounced that right, the sardines being cooked on charcoal on a boat right next to the restaurant. Hi, it's Tim Wilmot here and welcome to this plain air watercolour paint demonstration right here on location along the seafront in Fuengarola, Spain. I'm going to be painting completely outdoors, plain air style, to capture the vibrant colours and light and using my lightweight portable watercolour kit I'm going to demonstrate how you can take watercolours anywhere to recreate beautiful scenes quickly. So off the left we'll add that in that tall wispy fronds of a palm tree swaying in the seaside breeze. In the centre will be the distinctive wooden grilling boats, maybe a few clouds of mouth-watering smoke rising up uh, just uh, as the just caught sardines are cooking over those hot coals and there's the backdrop of the restaurant with a little bit of a glimpse of the light beyond so in this video i'm going to go through my complete painting process with you in real time with commentary a long way i'm painting under the shelter of one of the beach vendors so thanks very much to him for letting me use one of his chairs to paint the scene uh, by so get your get your paints ready and Let's capture the sardine sun and the essence of Wangarola in this plein air painting. This is version three of my ultra lightweight plein air painting kit made out of this um, very lightweight Corex plastic corrugated uh, sheeting. And it's in two parts, uh, the board and the easel, uh, the actual palette. Uh, so this is detachable and I'm going to start by drawing in, just put this to one side, drawing in first of all the main essence of, of the scene. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold pressed paper and this is 8th imperial size so it is, uh, what's that, uh, uh, 11 inches, um, 11 inches by seven and a half, something like that. All right. Then. We've got the little cook's hut in front of the cafe. Lots of light coming towards us. We're painting almost contour. There's a nice palm tree to the left. We'll get that one in. And a figure or two as well. So let's imagine the palm tree is there. That top left corner. And I'll have it leaning slightly into leaning, leaning slightly into the scene and then the hut the boat on which we're having those sardines cooked, so a very simple boat shape. Shadows coming out, maybe a figure in here. and get the height of the figures correct. And then the cafe behind. Now the actual roof goes in the roof of the cafe connects with that hut 
like that. I'm not sure if that's what I want. Um, hmm. Maybe we have the... Okay, let's go with it. A little bit of perspective. Lots of light in there. Let's strengthen up these lines a little bit. there. Steps leading up to the cafe, the restaurant. And palm tree, Make it a little bit lower than it is. Pretty much the drawing done. Right, just connect the board to my palette. Says he, this is version three. Version four would be a little bit easier. There we go. One side, two sides. All right, get some water. Right, brushes I'm going to be using, well, this Tintoretto mop brush. Size 6, the series 1407. I've got a small synthetic round as well, and a little rigger brush from Lebenson. Paints are from Mark Jackman in the UK, and links for that will be in the description. Uh, right, so painting wise, light to dark, but lots of light. Um, underneath the building, a little bit of light there on the side of the boat. <laughs> See if I can get that smoke in as well. Uh, very light on the pathway here. So we're getting a light wash of the sky first of all. And we'll mix my, I'll mix my cools in there. So I've got a bit of cobalt blue here. over the edge of the paper. Down to the horizon. And then next, the sand, which will be a little bit of yellow ochre, a bit of burnt sienna, and then over the building, give a little bit of light. Mm. 
bit of light for the area below the building. It's a bit cooler in places. There we go, this should be dry-ish now, so we can go in with the building. So I think we'll do the background where the marina is. There's lots of little masks popping up. Do that next. So that's gonna be, so I've got ultra blue bit of burnt sienna, ultra blue. So the most difficult bit is beneath these buildings and the myriad of columns and supports going on in there. I don't know whether I keep that roof quite light. Yeah, I think I will. Right, the main roof then of the cafe. Not too dark. side and then cut around that building there's, there's a lot of light coming from beyond the uh, beyond the cafe that figure in there'd be quite dark Next will be 
next will be oh let's do that let's do that palm tree let's do that palm tree which is going to be really really green that's really green i should have gone through my colors <coughs> say all from mark jackman's in the uk jackman's art materials so i've got a white gouache there uh then the the rest of watercolors so cadmium yellow cadmium red Alison Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, uh, Reading Green, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna and Neutral Tint. Bit of a, a, a limited palette, a few colours missing from my normal, my normal range. A normal selection of colours. Right, Palm Tree. Um, well, start off with a Reading Green. I can't really, because it's so bright, I can't actually see the values too well. There's light. It's so bright, the light coming from uh, coming towards me. Um, Fitting green, a bit of burnt sienna. Uh, palm tree. Oops. Is that, is that brown? Try not to make it too symmetrical, this palm tree. sort of knobbly trunk to it. Go a little bit cooler, darker towards the base. And shadow going away from the uh, trunk. Numerous shadows coming out from the cafe and then we're into the cafe proper. And now the hut. Keep the keep the roof quite light. Might just glaze over that if it's if it's too too light. Then the supports. Some pieces underneath. And trays, uh, trolleys, and little bits and pieces underneath. the boat now and the figure 
at the bottom of the cafe. This is the shadow of the the hut, and we got the boat, which is a sort of a cobalt blue. And then a bit of a shadow coming out from the boat. All right, the bottom of the cafe. Tables and chairs and stools and so on. Oops. We'll make that into something. Down to the boat. And then the bit of the cafe that meets the beach steps. Uh, next, swap brushes go a little bit more detailed now with some detail to the cafe and there's a bit of a dark edge to the roof. The bottom of the roof. Inside, inside the change of flat brush now. Inside the Cafe, you too. Great impression of some pillars. Right, just make that. Um, just make the roof of the building just glaze over that a little bit. That's better. Little bit more shadow.
a little bit of show at the back of this boat. Parasol attendant, you can hear coughing. <laughs> he sat just next to me. I'm pinching his shelter at the moment. Let's make that boat stand out a bit more. Be careful with my finger. Uh, this, these paving slabs. Just getting a few of those. The. Maybe a few more figures. Where can I get another figure? Uh, maybe a few more figures. Just on the other side of the cafe. People sat down. figures in the cafe itself. This is so difficult to see what's going on because of the bright light coming towards me. Sometimes one of the problems of Condrejour painting is you've got that bright light flooding in and it if you're not in the right position it can be difficult to see what's going on with right figures. Finally, some finishing touches to the figure, some
skin, flesh colour, a bit of cad yellow, cad red. little bit of smoke coming off the fire, the charcoal fire. And it's going to be a, like a bluish whitish colour. So I'm going to use <coughs> a little bit of this white gouache. Tiny bit of cobalt blue. of white and then we're done so just a few more little horizontals inside underneath the Hot. and maybe a little bit of highlighting around the figure. sort of sketch of the, uh, the sardine chef. On the beach. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it done. Um, well, let's just do a quick little critique of this. See how it went. I think uh, on the whole, I'm quite pleased with the composition, just moving things ever so slightly. For example, bringing the, the uh, palm tree closer into the composition and then suggesting some figures, simplifying underneath the cafe. They're so complicated underneath there. Um, all the tables and chairs, quite difficult to Excuse my friend. Um, quite difficult to uh, render that exactly, but I think I've achieved that. Could have got. Shall I put some yellow in there for the fire? Need to go in quite thick for this. Yeah, I think uh, 
going back to the composition, the, the pathway leading into the scene, a little bit messy there, need to be careful, <laughs> a little memo to myself, uh, watch out for wet paint being right handed, smudging things a little bit. Yeah, hope you like that on my ultra lightweight plein air kit version 3. Catch up with you on the next one.